What are the top five things people are asking when moving to New Hampshire? We're going to tell you right now. as always, why are the property taxes so high? They are, they are high. New Hampshire ranks seventh for the highest property taxes. And why is that? To cover schools, municipalities. We don't have a sales tax or income tax. Our property taxes cover all of those services. So what is the next question people ask? How difficult is it to move in the winter? <laughs> I can tell you that from experience because I moved two days after Christmas. It rained that year, so I got really lucky. <laughs> we had a client that just moved this past winter, and because we got a snowstorm the day before their moving, the moving truck showed up five hours late. It took them five hours longer than anticipated, and the new owners were scheduled to close on that house and move in that house same day. So there are challenges, but it can certainly be worked out with a little bit of communication. Yeah, definitely the communication between all parties needs to happen, especially the moving company. If they're running behind, typically they'll let us know the day before and we can reschedule things. And what is question number three? How many snowstorms does New Hampshire get? Well, it depends on what area of New Hampshire you are. You gotta remember, we have the White Mountains in New Hampshire, and how do you think they got that name? They're white. They're white. Most of the time because up north in northern New Hampshire, they average anywhere from 30 to 50 snow events per year and anywhere from 125 to 200 inches of snow per year. But in southern New Hampshire, it's much less. I think the average is 30 to 75 events per year and the average is 75 to 100 inches per year. In so the last few years, we've gotten really lucky. We have maybe had three snowstorms each year, the last few years, so. So not too bad. Is it better to buy a home in the summer or the winter? Well, it depends. Do you like competition? Because in the winter time, the competition is much lower. In the summertime, spring and fall, you are competing against a lot of other buyers. And if you do not have children that need to get into the school system, you're probably better off waiting until some families get their kids into school. If you start looking in September, October, you're probably gonna be in a much better position. So it all depends on your situation. That's the best answer right there. How are the schools in New Hampshire? That is a tricky and very loaded question. I think that's a great question for a former teacher. New Hampshire schools rank number nine in the country. So if you're looking for a school in the top 10, New Hampshire's a great place to be. And if you want information on any particular town on how their schools are, just look at greatschools.org, do a little research on the individual town and schools. If you have any other questions that we haven't answered, and believe me, there are a lot of questions asked. These are just the top five that we get on a regular basis. Leave some comments down below, and we will certainly answer them either in the comments or on a future episode. We hope you found this video useful and informative. And if you need any further information, you can reach us at all our contact information down below. My name is Kevin. And I'm Danielle. And we're a Coop Group Home Team.